Um, thank you. I would like to ask my questions uh, mostly around TL. Um, has there been any change in the schedule to have a simultaneous release uh, across the PC and the console? If there's any change in the upcoming plans, please share that with us. And also regarding uh, the companies who will be publishing these titles per different geographies and jurisdictions, do you have, uh, would you be employing different uh, publishing companies or which ge geography or region would you be targeting for this game title? And regarding the business model, compared to your other lineups, it seems like the pay-to-win element is much more milder. Would there be any different uh, approaches for different countries? If you could provide some color there, that would also be quite helpful. Yes, regarding the release of TL, we do not have any changes to our original plan of going to PC and console simultaneously. So regarding the publishing entity, there will be an official announcement soon by the business unit, so it would not be very appropriate for me to provide that information ahead of that, so please, uh, um, I ask for your understanding. But I can tell you that there has not been any change to our original plan uh, regarding the publishing entity. Regarding the global exposure in terms of the geographies, our objective is to, yes, have an overall global footprint. Now, you've also asked about the business business model, um, we are very proactively um, trying to incorporate the aspects of the global trend and the needs and the requirements that we are getting from the global base users, um, unlike our previous approach where uh, basically, there was focus on the very special characteristics of MMORPG that worked in the Korean market and in the Asian geographies. But for this game title, we are much more focused on the global universality, which we wish to uh, incorporate in the, our business model. <clears throat> Uh, my first question relates to your TL, the business model. I looked at the uh, the trailer and, and I see that the business model is more or less very similar to Lineage. Um, for instance, you uh, are you know adopting Ein Hazard <clears throat> and other Dol characters and these aspects seem to be quite similar to Lineage. So some people say that TL is not that much different from Lineage. So can you provide some more information on the BM uh, that will be used for TL. And when I saw the trailer and the videos, I didn't see much um, aspects regarding console. I would like to understand what type of support you will be providing, especially in terms of the PC crossplay. The first question, um, no, the, the BMs are not the same between TL and Lineage. We will soon have an opportunity to hear from Mr. Moon Hyung Che in charge of uh, this title from the business unit. And I'm also closely talking to him about uh, these aspects as well in terms of Ayn Hassar, the dolls, and the metamorphosis um, element. If we are to just take uh, what's working at Lineage, then we would just be making a repetition and same copy of that in TL, so that is not what we want to do. So once again, in the near future, I'm sure there will be an opportunity for him to actually provide that information in another, in another occasion. Yes, regarding console, no, the console was also part of the test, and we've done an in-house development and console test as well. And console play was actually featured in the video reel that uh, you must have seen. Uh, so um, basically, once again, there's been a simultaneous development across console and the PC. Right now, we're in the optimization phase. I would like to ask two questions. First question relates to TL and ION2. TL took a quite significant time um, for its developing this game title. Its game genre is multiplayer, so it's uh, RPG, so it's basically MMORPG. But if you look at the Western market trend, it seems like the bigger hits are coming from single-player mode <clears throat> and shooting adventure type of games for PCs and console platform. So we'd like to understand what you think is the appeal of such a multiplayer game title is against the Western market. We will respond to the question on TL, and I will hand it over to James to talk, um, talk about, Jason, excuse me, to talk about um, Aeon 2. 
There are two aspects regarding uh, TL. The first is um, I understand uh, where you're coming from in terms of your question because we have such a strength in MMORPG. <clears throat> That's why it is quite difficult for us to actually before it's released next year to be able to communicate all of the aspects of TL. So having said that, other than the PvP aspects, the non-PvP aspects have also been strengthened for this game title, especially since it is uh, supported at the console by the console platform. And secondly, it really has a very strong narrative um, aspect to it, narrative content that really help further enhance and elevate the immersiveness of what this game offers. And <clears throat> the action element and the action system is also quite different from other, uh, other MMORPG game titles that currently exist. So compared to the titles that we, what we are familiar with, this game is going to be very different. And so we cannot just define it as an RPG game. It is not the same as the existing RPG game. And if you look at MMORPG, it is not just about the genre itself. What we are doing is we are fully leveraging the current trend and, and how the Steam platform is growing and also how the gamers and users are well accepting. And there's high level of receptiveness regarding the in-game item sales. So if we are to develop a very high quality a game that has the elements of PvE, the narrative, as well as the a strong action system, then I believe that we will also be able to further grow this genre uh, at the same time. So, <clears throat> so once again, these two elements will come together in hybrid, and that will define and dictate the differentiation of TL. And we will also make internal preparations to make sure that during the ensing event, uh, when we showcase or when we provide information on TL, that we will be able to fully communicate all of these aspects. Second question regarding TL, you did provide some uh, information here, but I want to focus on the gameplay of this title. If we just look at the trailers that has been released, it's I think that there is, um, I guess, uh, not enough content that shows the action ability as well as the, the hitting sensations and PVE elements or PBE content. So I, if we look at other titles for, that were successful in employing the uh, play-to-win model, they really had a very strong PVE aspect to it. So we'd like to understand what is the core content for TL? Is it PVP, player versus player, or PVE? So responding to your question on TL, the, the videos that you've seen, I think, is our in-house test-related uh, videos and trailers thereof. So this was where we've run a stress test um, on this game title. So that's probably why the PvP aspects were more featured um, compared to the PvEs. We, you asked whether, you know, which is more importantly featured in this title, is it PvP or PvE? I can tell you that this title is one that has a very good balance of both of those elements.